how to create a multilingual website in GoDaddy. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to have a multilingual uh, website on GoDaddy. So it is going to be here um, not impossible because GoDaddy is not going to support uh, the multilingual option. We can go ahead and have here a little method which is going to have either the Google, uh, let's, let's say here, translation uh, method or the uh, navigator method. So you are going to have, for example, we are going to select one of the products or one of the websites that we are going to have, and we are going to select it. So we are going to announce for the customers if they are going to have uh, maybe uh, the uh, announcement bar um, set up to install or for them to install the translation app or you can go ahead and click on a, the website and we're going to have or we are going to maybe suppose that it is going to create or help you create only landing pages on GoDaddy so we are going to use GoDaddy as only landing pages so the most used language are going to be English French for example Spanish and also German. So you can go ahead and create instead of one page, three or four pages, depending on the languages that you're going to implement. So you're going to have the first page and you're going to have it as home. So you can go ahead and rename it as home EN, for example, for English. Done. Then you're going to add another page, which is going to be a premium feature. And it is going to be called, for example, let's name it maybe home, uh, uh, for example, Spanish, or let's say here uh, a Spanish, which is going to be ES, Espanol. And also the third page is going to be for French, which is going to be maybe FR, just like that. Click on done. And here we have it. So this is going to be something that we are going to implement into the pages. And with that, we're going to make our website as a, let's say here, multilingual, but for the pages. Now, uh, aside from that, you cannot do much because it is not going to be supported with the GoDaddy website builder. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.